Hi there, I'm John, aka Graffiti, and I'm a 3D environment artist in the games industry. This video series shows my approach to environment art creation with the ArtStation Challenge brief Beyond Human. Each video is a live stream capture and doesn't contain any music. I suggest putting some on, increasing the speed of the videos and playing them in the background while doing some of your own work. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you want to see me create environment art live, please tune into my Twitch channel. You can also follow me on social media. Enjoy! switched over yet which is annoying oh well so when we got to last time uh, i did a marathon modeling session and actually really hurt my back doing it classic uh but we got to uh let me just get my progress dun, 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 dun. so we got to this um so just modeling up the block out um just a bit more high res um detail on this um, is this actually doing anything? Oh, Manger Muffin, yo, I am here for the good stuff. Hopefully there will be good stuff. Um, thanks for popping along. Um, yeah, really appreciate it. Is the stream actually showing? Yeah, there we go. It is. The bit rate is terrible. Um, I should have really put something on OBS about that. Um, yeah, so this is where we got to last time. Uh, we just worked up this building here. Um, yeah, so a bit fiddly, but got there in the end. Um, what I've what I commented on on my thread, uh, which I will just get up actually, just for reference. Um, told you I'd drop by with that sentence. <laughs> is that it? You know, are you out now? <laughs> Um, two notifications. Oh, someone started following me. Cool. Uh, right, I want to go to my profile and the challenges and my submission. Yeah, so basically, um, I noticed that in the in the render, there was just a bit more of a you know a harsh edge um, coming from these windows. So I've just pushed those in and I've also brought in the, the end of the building a bit so that there's a bit less space between the dumpsters and the, um, network point. Um, yeah. So I'm Tom Flynn. Very nice. Well, I kind of like that guy. Um, yeah. So that's where I got to, uh, it is showing, but indeed buggy a bit rate. What is the amount you use on OBS? I now also worked on my own stuff, so I'm there, so I'll have you on. Yeah, Brill, sounds good. I think that's what a lot of people do. Uh, what is my bit rate on e OBS? Um, fifth, well, it's fluctuating all over the shop. Um, like it's really dropped off. Um, I don't know if there's anything, oh, I'm sure there is something I can do about that. Um, but I actually don't know. Uh, hello, Angel of Death, how you doing? Um, if anyone's got any tips on bitrate stuff, I will gladly hear them because uh, I don't know that much about it and the bitrate for this stream is generally quite bad. Um, yeah, so basically all I've done so far is I just extend, push this bit, the building back a bit and I, um, what's my image? And I uh, started just, I pushed the windows back in so the edge wasn't as harsh um, and then I'm just putting rooms behind these and then I'll probably just put some glass in um, as well for each window. So I'll just bring these over. Don't have to be perfect. Don't tell me this is all random. No, it's not. In the bottom bit. There we go. 
Oh, tiny gap between them. Excellent. Brill. Cool. So I'm quite happy with that, but I do want to just bring these in, I think, slightly. Aha, uh -huh. right, so what's going on here? Something else is playing ball. Leave those there. So it is the windows. I think. Yes. Uh, can I just grab all of these? Yes, I can. Pull them in. And then just probably bring these in just slightly. Where are all these in space? Ooh. Not poking out. That is the main thing. Cool. Right, lots of things right. Uh, I'm gonna. Very depends on your upload speed or download. I myself with wired internet got it at 10k because I averaged around right. Uh, but no one came by. Oh, I don't know. Didn't know you uh, streamed major. What, what kind of stuff do you just stream? Just just your work stuff. I don't know you don't even have right. Sometimes the curious came in and they say nothing, so of course I can't converse with them. <laughs> oh, lovely. But it's the environment for the... Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This is the picture. Um, so I think quite a few people are doing this one. I've seen and there are quite a few crackers as well already and I've only done oh crap how much work maybe nine hours so far uh, so not that much really um, but yeah hopefully if I can do more of this back bit well just more I need to do do more for the next three hours um, then that'll be good um, yeah so basically I'm the reason I'm doing um, a more kind of higher res block out is because I want to use a lot of this geometry later on. So the more I can, you know, match it to the image now and work it out, then the more, or rather, the less I have to change later. Looks like I've got a second pipe there. Let's go with you. Um, yeah, so everything, like, so these are all quite high res, but my plan is just so that I don't have to come back and remodel that or remodel, you know, too much. The hero props I'll need to remodel, but things like the building and the windows, I hopefully should be able to just get with, um, what you call it, just uh, applying a tiling texture and sorting the normals out, making a mech, still working on it though. Oh, thanks, Major. I do appreciate it. Um, I'll have a look at your stuff, Major, because um, I'd like to do a mech project, but I've got... I put one on pause just to do this challenge. So I need to do that when I when I finish this, and then I've got one more I want to do before Christmas if there's time, and then maybe I'll do a mech, um, which would be pretty cool. Um, ooh, there's a gap there. Uh, to get through all of them, that would make sense, yeah. Uh, right, so let's move these over a little, t a little bit. Actually, no, I don't need to, maybe just this one. So it's on the window, shut yeah, still a bit more. Real. Uh, move this one in. Cool. Right, so I think that's all I was going to do for changes. Max equals a fancy. <laughs> Everyone loves Max. Can't can't be a good Mac. Uh, right. I might just add in some extra detail by grabbing this and pasting it. 
And where does this go? So it goes. Oh man, right. So let's say it goes, so it's from there. So that's the top of the rail. Bit of a rough estimate, but it doesn't really matter right now. work well it intersects all these so I'd say probably not so maybe just actually let's just remove them <laughs> right we've flicked around a lot now uh, still on basic models when I see you by the way um, well yeah I mean you're only just roughing out the um, the um, AOD, you're, you, you, you're roughing out the shapes. What I would do is, um, Karen actually put on my, um, on my, what do you call it, uh, on my challenge, uh, challenges, this one, I read a good comment about door sizes, um, so Google average door height in whatever country you want to do. Um, and then work out your door sizes first and then work out everything else based on that. And you could do the same with, you know, handrails or, uh, I don't know, corridor heights, but that's probably more arbitrary for your case. Um, so, um, Uh, yeah, so I would do that, start your doors. Can I personally? You should be able to. Um, I don't see why not. I think I think you can. Have you tried it? I'm guessing you can. Just us right here. You should be able to. Um, door size as well. Yeah, because once you've got that cracked down. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so I would, let's get this open. Yeah, so what I would do is I would get this size and get the wall piece and this bracket in first. And then I'd remember to put a gap in here and then do, do the, one of these pieces so, I mean, looking at that, it's probably like a meter, two meters, three, four, and then so across, that would be one, two, maybe three meters across, maybe four to be safe. Um, in fact, you've got a human scale right at the end there, which isn't that helpful, but um, yeah, I would just work out the door size, the pillar size, and this floor size, because at the moment, and also put some detail in the floor as well, because, um, I mean, you've got these tracks, as it were. So if you put those just as cubes in the model, then when you come to look at it like this, you will be able to see those tracks. And yeah, you'll go back later and, and cut them out or make them into what you need to make them into. But it would help you define the space a bit more, having the detail modeled in at this stage, I would say, because right now I think it's just far too, far too wide. And I, I get it, it's, a, it's your first pass, that's totally fine. Um, but yeah, that's where I would go next with it. Need some water. Well, the stream is dipping every so often, but we seem to be on a good rate now. Rate good, you could say. I'm here all night. Uh, right, I need to crack on with this now. So, uh, got some pipes down there. We've got some aircon units. We need to move this building over, and it's got steps. So let's grab this and let's.
let's make it its own. Okay. Now that alley, move this down here, uh, has got two pipes and the ones behind the other. Sure does look like there's a pipe sticking out though. Who knows? Who knows? instead. Oh, come on. Copy, paste, increase. Too big. That'll do. Something like that. And uh, now this is freaking ginormous. Let's rotate it. Oh, oh no. So, and what if I do it this way? Oh, I should have just left it this way. There we go. Cool. And that's just poking out. I've got a camera set up down here, so that's quite good. Uh, well, I should have all the basic models and first, oh, that'll be good, that's my plan anyway. After that, it'll be high polys. I would be, like, be wary of work, rushing into high polys too soon. Um, you don't want to be caught in a position where, I mean, I'm quite likely to fall into this trap myself, but you don't want to be in a position where you've gone, oh, that's the block I've done. Um, I now can I can like I need to move on quickly, otherwise I'm gonna lose time. The more you can plan at the beginning, the more you can refine things. So st start with a cube, then maybe refine it into put some bevels in it, put some extra detail in it, just so you kind of get a, a near idea of the shapes that are gonna be um, in the final scene. But if you can do refine the block out just like for the first couple of passes you'll get a better sense of the size of the scene, the feel for, of the scene, and you'll know exactly what you need to model and what you need to tile and what you actually need to make as high res, uh, high low bakes, that kind of thing. So um, I suppose the, 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 the thing to do that as well is get some feedback on it, um, but just keep refining it. So like for, for me, some uh, colleague at work said that the the scale you can't really see him now but the scale is the same right these two guys but because of the angle of the view of the camera the focal length this guy's huge this guy isn't now i need to look in unreal and see why see if that's going to be a real problem or not um it could be could be a massive problem but in my defense it might be all right just because I'll have matched everything to the same scale, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue to fix things. Um, I do think getting stuff into engine is the way forward, but for me right now, I just need to get the models done and then I can have a look. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to be back and forth. I'll be wasting a lot of time back and forth. In. Plus also, you guys don't want to see me back and forth in between programs all night. I can do that on my own time. Uh, I'd rather, you know, do the modeling and people ask me questions and, and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so I would say don't rush into the high polys too early because you might have to end up changing them. Um, yeah. Okay, feedback on it. Cool. Uh, so this goes about as high as the walk, the walkway. So that needs to bring be brought down. 
Now this is where I might run into problems. I reckon this pipe's too big. And it's got a sharper joint on it as well. Uh, now how am I going to do that without scaling it? I suppose I could. What I need to do is snap this to the grid. Snap in, snap in to the grid. when it does this, where's my snapping again? Snap in, it needs to be vertex and to the grid. Cool. And then this needs to come off. Ooh. So we need a nice sharp corner. So something like that, I think. And bridge them. Yeah, that's better. Definitely better. Turn snapping off. Delete all that. Delete that. So a tighter, a tighter join, maybe even scale it back a bit. Now this is meant to stick out. So that bit there, that does go down there, yeah. Okay, and how's this looking at my picture? So this could do with coming down a bit, coming up a bit, where is it? It comes, it's about there. But it does say it comes down a bit. Poking out. to make this street shorter anyway, but something like that will do it. Um, hey Steve, how you doing? Um, uh, yeah, I'll be get it. Oh, player height in Unreal. Strange when you think about it because the average height in Northern Tony. <laughs> Lol. So long. It's interesting. Squadron of units anyway, gonna be internet, so looking for a bit. Yeah, sure. Workflow in Modo seems much faster than Maya. Um, depends what you're used to. Personally, I think it is, for me, it's faster. I just think the modeling is more intuitive, so I'm able to produce more in the same amount of time. And. This is behind and above it. Maybe something like that. Uh, 
drill. We're getting somewhere. Save over this actually. It depends on the amount of experience and come. Yeah, definitely what Muffin says. Everyone's everyone has their strengths and weaknesses. Um, and that applies for software as well. And it's I suppose it's up to you to um, you know work out things for yourself because chances are what works for you might not necessarily work for anybody else. Um, and the only way you are going to know is if you have a go. So, for example, for me, I, I wanted to... Um, those steps are freaking huge. Um, I wanted to do my base materials with um, Quixel, just so I could get something like up and running quite quickly. But... I haven't used Quixel in quite a long time, so it turned out that I've had to do it in Photoshop and then I'll use those at first and then just get them into substance. This doorway is sodden huge and it doesn't need to be. So let's bring all these down. So so probably a well, it's quite a thin doorway. Maybe something like that. And you step up. It's not bad. It's quite a low bottom step. Maybe it's just a bit out like that. Cool. Just get rid of this pipe. Uh, what I want to do is just get rid of this for the moment. Might be a third step. close to this wall as well with well, I think that pipe's too thick so let's just get rid of it uh, right so it's not very much maybe something like that and then this will be the doorway So layer, um, do this to these days boards, which just has the most use because of the amount of time they were the only viable software. Although some things like renderers are different to time, like maybe, yeah, yeah. See, it's crystal source is now much faster and soon, like no generating textures. Yeah, I agree. I think that was the reason why I tried um, Quixel last week. And yeah, it's grey and it looks like it's quite easy to use, but my problem was that it was in Photoshop and it the whole process just seemed... I mean, yes, it's down to my computer, but it was taking forever to generate stuff and I don't have all the time in the world. And yeah, we're only talking like, you know five seconds but when you're doing loads and loads of materials that quickly adds up and you're just waiting I hate just waiting for stuff um, unnecessarily um, have enough of that work um, need to expand these Um, yeah, so I mean, substance is is um, I use substance now. Well, I I I've been using substance 
seeing that uh, Substance painted 2 or 1.5, I can't remember. A um, couple of years at least. Uh, they're almost the same too, yeah. I find quicks are better for tiny textures, for actual textures. Well then, looking with no sign of that poll. Use designer! <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, I use designer for tiling stuff. And it's just awesome. Once you get your head around it, obviously, with everything, it's really good. Boom, got a doorway. And these steps are screwed with. Dude, now stand in the doorway. No. Why is a thin space? Still, though, there is headroom. Something like that. Yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. Don't tell me I've moved all of them. Yes, yes, I have. It's great for environmental with large areas. Small things use paint, but whatever floats your boat, I need to try. So, well, you just missed it. Yeah, you did. That's, <laughs> that's a bit sad. Yeah, they were on. It was like, yeah, you rigged it. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well, I would eat. <laughs> You'll get one, there'll be another one in November for um, the Black Friday. Takes a lot of time to learn. I think, um, yeah, designer is a weird one when you first, you know, put your head to it. But um, you just have to keep, once you've made, you know, the first three materials, you, it kind of more of the nodes you can use open up. Um, which I know you get with a lot of other software, but um, like you only through time using it do you uh, get to know it. But it really does, you know, open your mind up to how to approach things and in different ways as well, which is cool. This guy can go down here.
me an arm and a leg. So it's on the other way. There is a really cool thing, a substance sign. Just takes a couple of bags of stuff off your phone and then import it. Oh, cool, I didn't know you could do that. That's pretty cool. Give that a go at some point. when these move ever so slightly. That's a bit better. Photo scan though is pretty sweet. Hmm. Yeah, worth looking at. Might get, have a look at that one day. But yeah, I mean, I'd call it designer is pretty epic so you should give that a go hopefully it'll be once more of the modeling's done I'll be able to do more well when I'm on the texturing part I can get do some substance designer tiles and we can have a look at that show you the sheer awesomeness uh, right now, this will have some sort of door and frame. I would have thought. Um, it's a bit weird that there isn't a pole, like a supporting beam here, but we'll run with it. Um, uh, what was I going to do? Yes, that's, we need some window stuff. Also, I find as well, um, and quite a lot of students did this. Um, well, sorry, I should say, didn't do this. But if you've already got an, an element, then just use that and don't make a new one. Um, if, if you're already, so I, I needed a bit of a window seal out here, not an actual seal obviously but um, yeah if you already have it then just use that win it's all about the reuse to speed things up and also modo is it's just because I, it sounds very um, very obvious but because of the copy and paste functionality you have it just it just makes it so easy to do this kind of stuff. something to you know attach stuff to so let's get some glass that's one thing I forgot to put in last time glass Thank you. 
Just give me some fee on my Mac. I'll make a pick. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Send a link. The glass in, excellent. That'll bring oh, it really tear up the run of time. Uh, you know what the street needs music. Got my own on, yeah. Steve, um, I play basically what I was found finding was um, if I played music through it, chances are you probably wouldn't enjoy it. I mean, maybe, um, but also I wanted to turn this into a video series so, um. I um yeah you, YouTube has all kinds of you know rights issues with music going up fair enough so it's probably safer if you listen to your own music and have the vo the audio of the stream on as well a bit like what I'm doing um a bit of everything really um um yeah at the moment I'm listening to um this guy uh, can I not copy that? Are you kidding me? Uh, how do I share this? Share. Copy link. This is what I'm currently looking to, looking, listening to, just because music like with no lyrics makes it easier for me to talk. Um, so I generally have, I run through this and then I run through other good stuff like that. But there's a really good one um if you listen to this one the second one i've posted music for concentration on spotify it's amazing um so if you really want to get some work done listen to that um it's, it's great music um yeah and then this building's quite short after this might get more done than i thought Woo! Let 
me guess, it's the same width as this one, which would make sense. Copied the wrong thing there. Oh, almost, almost had it. across the building probably goes down the alley so if we get this here then move this oh, down actually it needs flipping or just mirroring in the Y as well. Go straight across. So that's a midpoint. So it's just above the door. Something like that. Like that. Extend that. Paste that. Yeah, what I'll do is in the future I will get some, get a bot. I know there's, I think there's a, a bot in here, I don't know, who knows. But um, yeah, actually do it, set it up properly because my stream really just, um, I was, I started streaming to get myself to do more personal work. Um, this oh shit it out ah oh, thank god um yeah so i started it for that so i haven't really put that much time into the ins and outs of the stream and i think this pipe is one of them's fatter so probably this one let's go with something like that Let's 
something like that, maybe. Seven viewers, not bad. Terrible bit rate, as always. Uh, right, so I need a aircon, which I already have. We should really put these on our own layer. Copy, paste, move it down here, rotate. It's also got a stand that goes with it. Now, so this is interesting. So maybe the pipe is a little too big. Or maybe it's one of these bigger ones with tighter corners. Yeah. view with ISO line display on to make your eyes bleed. Right, let's have a look. Ooh. Back. Is this the front? No, this is the back, obviously. One and two. Yeah, looking cool. Looking good. I recognize these feet. There's been a new tutorial in 3ds Max um, with a mech in it. So is this the where the computer is, I'm guessing? Or is it piloted? Uh, I would maybe... So you've got a cylinder in here. I'd make it more... Um, like a diamond inside so that you have a bit more space in the cockpit um, and there'll be more surface area for the legs to move onto to grab onto um, and then I'm, I'm guessing you're going to put kind of more normal detail on the legs um, Yeah, it'd be good to see if, if you did a, um, I don't know, a breakdown of how the leg might work, might move, that kind of thing. Like, do these really extend out? Is there enough space for them, for the middle bit to move? Because it looks like it might be a bit stumpy. Um, what's like the highest point it can be at? Because um, at the moment, yeah, the legs don't look very flexible, like it moves very slowly, which might be what you've intended, so, yeah. But yeah, it's looking quite cool. Nice work. Yeah, maybe just, ref and I'm sure you already know this, but refine what's going on here. You've got all the refinement in here, so just kind of gradually move that throughout the model yeah looking good though yeah it's partially that still place yeah it's a drone do that for land and water inspired by okay placeholder legs they are too bulky yeah i think they are too bulky um but when you're re redoing the legs balance it out against the cockpit that you already have because they look like they work together in that they're, they're both quite bulky but if you then change the legs, they might not match up with the cockpit so much. Um, so be wary of that. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting. Are you planning on showing how it would move in water? Um, because that'd be pretty cool. And it might also inspire how you actually are going to do the legs. 
like, do they rotate or do they, uh, you know, change into a new position? That kind of thing. Just go straight up, yeah. Again, don't know where it's gone. Do look slowly. We'll keep this face area because this is famous. Also, the tubes at the back contain. Right. Okay. Yeah. Could it be that the propulsion helps it move faster on lines, like on on land? So it's like a little propulsion, and it works for both land and sea. Because that'd be quite cool if it, you know was stood and then you know kind of jetted a bit and then landed somewhere else so it's a bit more tactile Ourselves a little stand going. Uh, that could also jam with for less. Well, I was like the robots. Right now, it's just a regular screw. This is the tube. 
Ah, uh, cool. Yeah, I see what you mean. I'd be tempted to um, to not have the propellers modelled and just have um, something that looks like it spirals, um, like it lights up and spirals, because then you could get away with an on land and on sea version being the same thing. I think as soon as you start putting mechanical shapes in, you lose a bit. Um, of you know the fantasy of it um, yeah so I'd, I'd be aware of that but yeah looks good looks like you've thought about it which is which is a really good thing there's nothing worse than um, you, um, you know, make something and you haven't really thought it all the way through and it's kind of like oh, I've put a gun in it, gun on it. Oh why? Oh, because you know, because blah blah X Y Z. But it actually turns out to be like a hospital droid or something like that. And you're just like, when people don't think about the if it's meant to be a medical droid, then why does it need a gun? Surely it would need some kind of I don't know, like big syringe or something. That is in front of the pipe. vertical pipes but essentially that is it so grab them from here room. Oh, there is. Excellent. signs here. So one. Now it looks like it's flush but then where would this pipe go? So I think it hangs over both pipes. And we can get a bit of an angle as well. in an arrow pointing.
Oh, there is a gap, yeah. And then we need a same one. So over here, this is gone. where the corner, I'll move this over, the corner of the building is here, you can see by the shadow, but that doesn't make sense for where this aircon unit would be, unless the aircon unit is floating, which it could be, to be fair. Yeah, I don't really know what's happening in this bit, it could just be loads just you know machinery flowing off the wall No joke, bolted onto the wall. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It looks like it's just bolted on. Or it's like, you know, sticking just off for something else which is there. Um, and something above it. I'll ask Helio. Um, I'll draw a picture and see if we can just give me a bit of uh, feedback on what the hell's in there. Because that'd be good to know. Um, ooh, the, I think there's, there's another one there as well, that's, that's good. A slightly bigger one, which would mean it would be this one. with this thing. Okay, so this thing. Where's that image? Just above the corner, and then there's a light above it as well. this pipe so maybe something like that and yeah I think we're just gonna have to bring it out so let's take this off Oh, 
move this over. Maybe something like that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Anyone else still working on stuff while watching this? Stuff. Stuff. Maybe there's some lurkers in here.
too big, but we'll scale it down later. And working and lurking, Winky. <laughs> Have you seen that add on that tells people what uh, keys you're pressing? They do it in a lot of tutorial videos. Ah, okay, I'll write that down. Because, yeah, I suppose you can hear the keyboard, but you've no idea what's going on. Um, add on. Yeah, I'll get that, and I'll hopefully in the next stream, if I if I have time to find it by then, um, I'll get it so it pops out up. Because yeah, I do do. I use a lot of Modo's default commands, um, but yeah, that's a very good point. I think it would be um, useful if you actually saw what I was doing. Security light done. It's probably a bit on the small side. Maybe something like that. Somebody has commented on my blog post. Woo <sighs> Curious antics. Which one's your um? Curious antics. Which which post is yours? Um, I might put some socks on. Bear with me. Um, can you post a link in the uh, thing in the chat? And what does the crown mean in the chat? You know, oh, I hurt my back in boot camp. Um, in the chat, I, I can't remember. I know the sword is moderator, but. I can't remember what the the crown thing is. Oh, here we go. 
Here we go. Oh, Twitch Prime, that would... <laughs> that would make sense. <laughs> um, <laughs> ah, I know your, in a weird way, your face from Dynasty's chat, I think. Dun, 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 oh, yes. I, um, let's bring this over. I was, I thought about doing this piece, um, because I, I really love the concept. Um, but I, I thought it was going to be too much for me to handle. So I went for a really detailed one instead, but, <laughs> but no, I think with this one, it was like, um, I haven't got that much experience in doing massive landscapes. So doing that and making it look good was going to be a, a bit of a pain for me but um i like the the ship looks really cool and these um you know bits with the rocks like there was enough you could get away with quite some simple stuff but just selling it was i think for me was going to be too far out of my my realm but you've started yes that's the main thing Boom and got some lands. That's like yeah, it's pretty cool. I would probably say that the 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 Z um, needs to have a the mountains needs to be further back and the ship needs to be in the middle of the lake. Um, but maybe you could fake that with the um, angle of view. But yeah, let's give that a like. Yeah, so I would check them first. Yeah, it, I think it's just too far forward. And hopefully it, it will just be... I mean, it could be that in space... It's far away. But yeah, I think... Uh, fake it with the camera. Uh, I'm a dynasty mod. Woo! Lol. Nice last name. This. That's my contrary name. Uh, I'm back. He's back. I not doing them either. <laughs> Going to die from taking on too much. Join the club. We'll call it the um, taking on too much club. Doesn't really have a ring to it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I totally get that. I mean, Last weekend I couldn't do any work, this weekend I can't do any work. Um, yeah, it's just going to be managing and just not cutting corners, but getting around corners as much as possible with tiling textures for me. Workaholics United, there we go. <laughs> we need a little um, flag and some colors, a strip, as in the Uniform, Christ, football strip, Jesus. Ignore that comment. Uh, <laughs> um, right, let's carry on working, John. Let's just do that. Um, right, metal boxes, generic boxes on here. Okay, so let's move this pipe in a bit. Whoa. And like so. Bring these back a bit. Bring these up a bit. Make it just thinner. Just get these 
brackets in. Yeah, these ones copy and paste. And pull this out. So maybe something like that I'll do for the moment. I'm, I'll ask Helio because that's going to really annoy me. Cool. So generic cubes now in. Actually, I might just. something like that. Yeah, not really sure what's what the crack is there, but some detail in to break it up can't hurt. Uh, I have a feeling that's a curve, so maybe the air duct goes down the, the alley. Save. Uh, oh wait, the proportion now has an EM drive, so it's already space ready. <laughs> if you say so, it's your mech. <laughs> no, keep at it, it looks good. Just needs to sort out, you just need to sort out those um, legs. Generic cubes now in bubblegum flavor. Yeah, a bit like this piece. <laughs> uh, image. Um, I might do another shameless, shameless post. Ooh. Gonna approve that. My first comment on my first, well, not my first blog post, but yeah. Um, yeah, if you go to my web address, John in, actually, no, I'll just find that. That should come straight away. Yeah, leave it. Yeah, so if you go there, I do, you know, sort of monthly art book reviews. I don't think I follow you on Art Station. We'll follow each other. But I'm on Twitter and Instagram and I've got a blog which I just posted and all that jazz. It's all kind of under two names but it's all linked together. Um, but yeah so I do, I've got tons of art books now so I'm trying to do monthly you know not reviews, although I do label them as reviews, but kind of just go through and kind of show show other people who might be interested um, what's inside some of the books. So some of them are quite rare, some of them are not so rare, but I try and do a game one, a film one, a game one, a film one. So this month I did Avatar, albeit it was last month, but I posted it today because I wrote it last night. Um, Whereas this month's will be a game one, but I don't know what game yet. Something small, hopefully, or thin. Um, so yeah, so check that out if you can be bothered, but don't feel obliged to. Um, signs on this and then I'm going to do that air duct. So on the smaller one, Transo Shake. And it's the just shy of the height of this. And it goes right to the edge. And who knows, 
shows how far this comes out. Probably yeah, halfway through the street. That's one. And these can be adjusted later. And then this comes out more like this. But it doesn't go as far. And then this one is a beast. So shorter and fatter. Something like that. And now the air duct system. An hour and a half to do that. That's not too bad with some thought going into it. If I can, maybe I should cross over and do this front bit. Okay, so this air duct seems to be too big, I would say. Fit an entire. surface of the wall. And a bit higher than all this. And I think it yeah it is rotated round. upwards paste uh, this way So, 307 tweets. Wait, is that my amount of tweets? Not that many. <laughs> What's it say? Where's I? Oh, crap. Probably not that many. Tweets of what? Tweets of the blog post or tweets of, you know, activity? Just piled up, no, did I haven't read them today yet. Um, oh, I didn't know you. Well, this is the thing, I, 
I post a file, but I kind of just feel like it goes into the ether of, you know, all the other shit that, that's going off in the world, um, which is far more important. Uh, but yeah, like, no pressures. Um, let me know, I mean, my, I can't remember what I got at GCSE for English, but maybe a B. Sometimes English isn't really even my first language. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you want to see more pictures, less text, or what have you, then just let me know. The ether, yeah. Like with everything else. <laughs> it's kind of weird, because when I first started streaming, it was because, I said this earlier, it was because I needed to do more personal work at home. And the only way I could do it, really, was if I could commit to, if I could commit to a schedule, and maybe if people, if I knew that maybe someone would turn up, or maybe no one did, but I had to be there, um, then I would do more, I would um, make more of an effort um, but then as time's gone on it's kind of like hey people are watching and that's quite cool and to be honest I've got Unicorn Dev and Dynasty to thank for that um, I mean, this aircon. Let's put this back. Um, curious. So, I'm actually from England. <laughs> it's more of a joke that I can't really, you know, use my own language very well, verbally and uh, written. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm actually from the Peak District in. Um, in Derbyshire, but my parents are from the south, uh, so I suppose that's why I'm quite well spoken. But I say things like bath and grass, and you know, the proper way of saying it. Um, yeah, to make sure the not the only one. <laughs> oh, the second pipe, unless I. Unless I just lower the pipes. What a better idea that is. Unless the... Uh, it could be that the aircon just doesn't go around the corner, which would, to be honest, save me a lot of hassle. Maybe it just comes out of the building. Let's just do that. Let's just have it come out of the building. That makes far more sense. Uh, right on the end, perhaps. Something like that. Da -da -da. Copy, paste. in their original position then, I think so.
thought I have but uh, for a while but if you are an English nation are uh, all English sounds like folk songs for you guys I'm making pipes now because I have that yeah with Dutch I can't stand Dutch songs <laughs> um, maybe but I suppose everything's so poppy now it's hard to you know I suppose define it. Uh, your south is must be very different from ours. So, oh yeah, yeah, I, I bet. Everyone needs a good pipe collection. They obviously would be handy to have. Well, I mean, what was Yeah, got that already for rain pipes. Which straight on top. Yeah, I mean, oh, I would do these as a modular set as well, but. Um, I kind of think there's no point for me uh, on this scene just because once everything's in, it's in. It's to one camera shot. And yes, I need to, once it's in Unreal, just kind of play about with where everything is in space. But um, I think for the long haul, I only see it from one, one viewport, one camera. So... I'm not going to make it modular. Oh, heaven forbid, I know, I know, but it will save me a lot of time in the future. Uh, right. Right, so now I need these other pipes. Copy, paste, delete. Rotate. So this middle one looks like here.
sticks into the top of this one. slightly wider yeah a wider gap there show from that one camera all cam I can always make more errors if there is time also I have a plan to make mine a bit fancy but only yeah famous last words <laughs> oh yeah that is a good one muffin famous last words yeah throw in a few steam water drip particles to a short video yeah I mean I'd love to do that kind as well as uh, that as well um, Nothing too fancy, just yeah, something to make it pop. Um, as well, I can make this and this and this, and okay, I'll stick to this, but if I got time, so I'll make something more. Where is the time? Can I make it pretty much? Yeah, yeah, I mean, what I uh, what I'm still yet to do for um, this one, which I need to do at some point, I'll probably do this weekend if, um, if I have a, a gap in my schedule. Um, work out how much time I've got left uh, and that's evening time and weekend time and basically any time that I can you know use for this project now once I have that and I'll, or I know the days I can work out the hours and then when I have that I can work out well how long will all of this take me to do in how many hours with this take and then once you have that you kind of get a better idea of how much or how far you can get along but then you you've got to think yeah there's actually going to be no time even though there's still 47 days left or something like that unless you're working on it all the, all the time <laughs> it makes me wish that there's some 3d some students doing the competition uh, I, I don't know if you guys are students as well, but I'd love to be a student now doing these challenges. You'd get, like, what a time to be a student. You've got all the new tech and you can do whatever you like and you can spend as, as much time as you want on it. Um, unfortunately for us, yeah, that doesn't really exist. <laughs>
recent grad. Well, I could work on it, but I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, I might land an internship in the studio that makes some pretty nice art and uses UE4. That is an engine I want to learn anyway, it's very cool for stuff. Yeah, well, that's a, no, another reason why I think it's probably for students a good idea to do this kind of thing because the by posting it in a wit thread, yes, you're getting feedback, but you're also kind of increasing your exposure, um, which definitely helps. Um, and then even if you don't manage to get something from it this time, you probably get something next time just because you participated. Um, and all experience is generally good experience, um, as long as you're learning new stuff. Um, and yeah, just keep an eye open for, for you know, internships, or if you're finished, just um, do some, um, if you can do some freelance stuff on the side, then obviously that's always great. Um, just to keep the the money coming in But yeah, I've been there. I, I know how hard it is when you come out of uni um, But I suppose the other thing is you've got things like YouTube and yeah, Twitch and Gumroad so you could you know give tutorials a go or any Handy hints and tips, just again to get the name out there a bit more. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully something will come your way eventually. Um, whereabouts are you based? Are you like, willing to relocate? Um, I'm assuming you are willing to locate, uh, relocate just because you're coming out of uni. building right into a doorway oh my god 